When you're ready then. Your thoughts on this afternoon, Greg? I thought we had a good start. Good start, got the penalty. Deserved penalty as well, it took him out. Um, and uh, Michael Carr gambled and uh, got the goal for us, you know, Quinny had his penalty saved and uh, Michael followed up. That's, that's, that, was, that was bright from Mike, I thought. Um, I'm not quite sure about theirs, I think Oliver just got the wrong side of him and, you know, like every striker, I thought that he bought the penalty, but having said that, if it was me, I'd have done exactly the same guy. Well, so. I called it from there that it wasn't. Yeah. Um. Well, from the angle where I was, he, he, he got across Oliver and made the most of it. And to be honest, I don't blame him for doing that. That was for, for me. That was very, very good centre forward football, and also clever as well. And um, you know, we should, uh, you know, anybody looking in on that should look at that and think that's that's the way we are now. You know, and he's he's, he's got himself a penalty there, and uh, we come in at one each um, at half time, and I was really disappointed because. We'd had three opportunities, yeah. where again, we've missed the target from areas that we should be putting the ball back at the net. And you look at their second and third goals today, very, very similar types of what we've um, uh, gone through in the first half. And they've buried theirs, and that's why they're third in the division and we're not. And um, that was a difference for me today. They're, 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 every time uh, they looked, uh, got in our box, they looked as though they were going at least at the target, make you work, and we don't do that. I mean, first off, I mean, I, th I thought we played some really good stuff, created chances as well, and so we didn't take those opportunities. And up and all the time, it was one all. Yeah, it was very even. You, you, it, you, you, if it, you were a neutral, it'd be difficult to work out at that point who was the side at the top of the league and who was the side in the middle. Yes, side. yes, I, I completely agree with that. You know, the second and third goal have come very, very quick concession. It's not stuffing out of sort, but up until that. There was nothing in this game, and I, you know, I felt that we could, we could, we could, based on the first half performance and, you know, how easy we were getting in as well. I felt that we could take three points from here. But Whitten are a good side; they're a good passing side, and they um, they outpassed us today. We give the ball away on a lot of occasions today unnecessarily, and um, Whitten um, in the second half in particular, I thought passed the ball around very, very well. And of course, they've got lads up there in, in dangerous positions who are going to going to put the ball away, which proved the case, you know, so the big difference for me today was um, their strikers took their chances, our strikers didn't. I've sat there and I've got more frustrated and annoyed with match officials today than I have for an awful long time, and there were challenges going on out there that were fine, I mean, Michael Carr won one header in the middle of the park and a free kick was given and we were just absolutely aghast at what's going on. And I mean, I know it's difficult for you to mention match officials, Greg, but I mean, this, this, well, the, the, the whole group today, I thought, lacked an awful lot. Well, they did. I mean, the, the, what, what the icing on the cake just was the one what Chris Flynn did down there. It was a great tackle, great yeah. tackle, kicked the ball out from the throw in, the Lions was flagging, you know, and I've just said, what have you given that for? He said, it was a foul. I said, well, I'm not being funny, you aren't going to go anywhere. If you want to be a referee at a good you want, not based on what you're giving at the minute. But I'm not going to blame the officials. Yes, they were poor. I'm not going to blame the officials. We we were as bad as the officials today, second half. And um, you know, until we start hitting that 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 goal, making goalkeepers at least save, you know, we are not going to win many games. The difference between us and them today is they took their chances and we didn't. Simple as Gary, and that's why we are where we are. But you know, I know this, but. The thing is, for us to go out and get somebody like a Sean Tuck, I can't do that. You know, I, I can't do that. I haven't got the finances to do that. I wish I had, because if I got a, a, a goal scorer in this team who were going to take uh, most of his chances, we'd have been a far, have been a far better place. But um, I'm uh, really disappointed. Apart from really Chris Flynn today, I thought Chris Flynn played very, very well. Everybody else today, particularly second half, they didn't turn up, you know, and uh, I keep stressing to them that there's a lot of points to play for uh, uh, in this league, and we got ourselves in a great uh, in, a, in a great position to go on and win this game at one nil, and um, it didn't happen because again we've not worked the keeper enough, and it's not, not just that, but you know I'm sure if um, their strikers had those chances first off for us, we'd have won the game today, but we haven't got their strikers have we? And we, we start again Monday. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. Two days we're straight in it again, aren't we? So well, we are. It's good. the games are going to come thick and fast now. You know, um, don't think I've picked any any other injuries up. Ryan Brown will be back into the into the squad. 
Um, you know, so um, obviously we brought Dan Cope in as well um, to boost the squad a little bit. Um, as you can see, he's, he's quite small, but he's quite quick. Um, you know, and he'll, you know, he'll 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 come and uh, and be an addition for us. Um, you know, so we we have to we work with what we've what we've got, and uh, but unfortunately. Apart from Chris Flynn today, everybody who's put a Rangers shirt on has not played to their capabilities. And if they're not playing to the capabilities, we're not going to win games, Gary. And uh, you know, um, I've, I've, been, I've been, been stressing this now for a, for, for a while. But um, you know, I've tried really hard to bring in somebody who's going to get me that 30 goals in the league this season. But unfortunately, I'm, I'm, I'm getting sort of outbid. So you know, we um, we have to we have to carry on and um, see if we can um, improve that next season. Which we have to, you know, 48 goals or 49 goals and 34 league games is is not good enough. It's not good enough, um, you know. So that's 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 the main area which I feel next season has got to be addressed. Cheers, Greg. Pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot,